Hello there, Unforgettable Engineers. Erica T. here, and today we're addressing a critical aspect of our professional journey, and that's navigating workplace dynamics and culture, as well as overcoming bias. If you have ever felt hindered by gender-related challenges, as many female engineers do, then know that you are not alone. And you want to stick around because I'm going to be sharing with you three empowering strategies to rise above biases and thrive in your professional setting as a female engineer. But listen, it's going to require one thing from you, and that's courage. So if you're ready to hear those strategies, I need you to grab a pen as well as a notepad because we're getting ready to take off. So let's just level set here and let's define bias in the context of this video. So bias is negative preferences or tendencies that can lead to unfair conditions, judgment, and unethical discrimination. So when you're dealing with those biases and you're wanting to overcome that, one of those strategies that you can use is cultivating self-awareness and assertiveness, right? So start by cultivating self-awareness to recognize, number one, as well as understand any of those biases that you may be encountering within the workplace. One of the tools that's going to be really helpful for you is having that healthy connection with your intuition where you can trust the signals that you're receiving in the moment, right? So do you feel unsafe? Do you feel or do you have that inner knowing that something is not quite right? So develop also the assertiveness in addressing just these biased behaviors constructively. So when you encounter that bias, calmly but assertively communicate your perspective and focus on the facts and focus on the impact. But if you feel totally uncomfortable addressing it, just know you can seek out and get the support and help of others. But either way, addressing bias not only allows you to stand up for yourself, but it's going to really contribute to building and sustaining a more inclusive workplace. OK, so the second strategy is build allies, right? So you're building a network of allies who can recognize and support your capabilities um, when it comes to overcoming bias, right? So those allies are going to seek to understand you, your position. They're going to advocate on your behalf, and they can really ultimately help you navigate through the workplace dynamics. By establishing those really strong connections, you create a support system that helps you counter the effects of bias and is ultimately going to help you grow as a professional. Now, one other thing to also remember is don't forget about those organizations uh, like your employee resource groups that are formed based on interest. So maybe there's an organization specifically for women or specifically for veterans, because those can be a good support system for you as well. I know one of the things for me, often when I go into new roles, there's there's always at least one ally that I have. And um, it's not always someone that's a superior. An ally can also be a peer, someone who has influence, someone that you trust that has influence with others that can also help you navigate in the workplace, okay? And then the third and final strategy is if you encounter it, bias in the workplace, I need you to document the instances where, where it occurs, right? So keep really good records of what are the specific incident that's taking place? What's the date? What's the detail? Did it have any impact on your work? Did it have any impact on your well-being? Because what you'll be able to do is when it's appropriate and when that time is appropriate, you're going to discuss your concerns with your supervisor or your or HR and having that documentation helps with that actual discussion. So the next time you're faced with bias in the workplace, think about this. Make sure that you're self-aware and you can recognize the bias and call it out, right? Um, build those allies. Incorporate that support system that you need that allows you to kind of overcome what you're experiencing. And then don't forget to advocate 
for fairness. So if you are ready to stand out and get noticed as a female engineer, then go and download my free e-guide at ericatjohnson.com. And until next time, be unforgettable and happy in industry. Bye-bye for now. Take care.